Brian vs. Dorkman 1 was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun to make and, you know, people enjoyed it and we really enjoyed working together and all of that. And so ever, ever since then, we've always talked about doing Ryan vs. Dorkman 2. But why we're doing it and why to do it now is because people are watching. Um, we know that people are going to watch it and people are going to hopefully enjoy it. Something in the same spirit as the first one, just better in every way that we possibly can. This the RVD upgraded, RVD2, mm -hmm. and just try to outdo ourselves and try to do something that would impress us. I mean, that's really yeah. our, ultimately, that's that's always our goal is to make something that we would, if we came across on the internet, we'd say, hey, that's really cool and show mm -hmm. it to our friends and stuff. So, I mean, the choreography, we're trying, we've had three years since the last one. So we really are hoping that we're gonna make something that's a lot more dynamic, a lot more interesting, a lot smarter in terms of the choreography, in terms of the camera work, in terms of the editing style, um, everything that we possibly can. We're just gonna try to do better and as good as we, as we can now. Yeah, I know. Maybe the pants. If not, the pants fit on me, but I had a belt on the last yeah. one. So. Well, this stuff looks better. Yeah. Ooh, look like crap. Anyway, yeah, I feel like, you know, all this stuff would be sort of moved elsewhere. We had this moved in to, like, just cover this blank Break wall a little bit. We're going to shuffle some things around. For, we're actually going to go, it's going to, like, start up here, and then we sort of find our way back in here and cut crap up. And then come this way, and we're gonna move some things in front of the vats back there because the vats are like the one thing that you can look at and kind of know what it is. I'll give them a call and tell them to just to just do the Well we could make something like it like um, I could take that small pallet and then just put a bunch of bags on it so you can kinda of sit. Oh yeah. And that way it will be you just have to like pull really hard or stop. Yeah. Let's see about what? The location? Yeah. It's good. It's gonna work out good. We've got a lot of stuff to move around, but it's very like there's a lot of detail. There's a lot of just structures, interesting, you know, industrial crap around. So it's it's what we were hoping for. Cool. It's a little warm in here. It's cool. Say, Ruben, what made you decide to uh, let these guys come in and, and have the run of the place like oh, this? And I was so impressed with the first uh, RVD that it, I, and the background, I think there was a satellite in the background on the first one, and I said, oh man, it's got to be, my place has to be uh, one of their their options to come, because uh, it's a unique facility, we have a lot of ovens, a lot of stainless steels, you can see a lot of things hanging down, so I offered it to them, and they called me up and said, that they uh, they're interested, so here we here we are now <laughs> filming. Uh, All right, guys. Official saber shop. Saber. These are the sabers we are using in this film. This would be mine. This would be Mike's here. His design is actually based off of the saber he was going to be using in his fan film if and when he ever gets around to it. But I made a sort of replica of it in my uh, in my uh, style here, which is lightweight. These are all hollowed out, so it's just about as light as I can make them and still be structurally sound. As far as the glades go, they're secured by a set screw down here toward the bottom, so when these break, as they inevitably will, we whip it out, put another one in, and then set screw it in. They've all got a hole right near the end that plugs in here. The difference in texture that you see here is this is just an aluminum tube like uh, I get them at Orchard Supply, which I'm not sure if they're around outside of California, but um, it's just aluminum tubing. It will eventually bend and break. Like if you look at this one on edge, you can see it's got sort of some bending to it going on there, which happens with aluminum. You can sort of bend it back, but it has a finite life that it, it runs through. This is the good stuff, carbon fiber, which is like what they use on episode three. 
and it's out of New Zealand. It's expensive stuff, especially if you get it through a, a reseller who's trying to, you know, make money from it. Um, it's got a texture kind of like a Chinese finger trap or something if you really get up close to it. But it's really strong stuff. It actually will not bend. Like, no matter how much we use it, it doesn't get bent up like the aluminum. It will remain straight and rigid the whole time. In fact, I even did some tests showing that on camera when we fight with these things, they don't flex even at the moment when they impact. It'll, it'll remain straight and just bounce together, which is really, really cool for rotoscoping because then you don't have bending savers to worry about. So this is really good stuff, expensive, but it also lasts a lot longer than the aluminum. So expensive, but worth it. We've got like six or seven of these that we're gonna be using throughout the production for the best stuff we have. Oh yeah, and it's lighter than the aluminum buy a little bit too, so it's really, really good stuff. Um, for these, to prep them for the actual, the, the shooting, we don't use just the raw blades themselves here. We color them orange. We found that orange tends to show up best on camera in most, the most circumstances, basically the most scenarios. I've tried I stuff like it's astonishing how yeah. much it shows up even in low light. It really picks up. I think it's especially just digital cameras really pick up the red very easily. Because uh, the, the problem is when they when we're spinning and we're blurring, it's just it disappears in the background, which is still we're gonna have a problem with it because we move these things pretty fast. But the orange was the best we found and it helps. Trying not to get wrinkles, but I guess it doesn't matter too much. So this is just orange, uh, like fluorescent orange uh, gaffer's, tape. gaffer's tape we got from the local place in Hollywood. The goal is to just have it be as lightweight as possible and fairly well balanced so that it just doesn't wear on your wrists and stuff. One of the problems we had on the first one, on Ryan vs. Dorkman, is that after doing the first set, which is the really long shot where we have a whole ton of fighting, just the next day our wrists were just so sore. We had them like ice and stuff. It was really rough. So these are much easier to work with. So. we're talking about here. The corrosive kind according to the link. Corrosive acid. Dude. Dude, we could be superheroes. We just need to like dump that <laughs> in ourselves. Sign's gone wrong kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was making this film, I got dumped in a bunch of corrosive acid and then I freaking flew. Yeah, no, no. I didn't bring any gels. I don't want any now. You guys had some cellophane and some other stuff. We could tint it red and I would be it's up to you guys. I mean, I would. But, uh, the light may want to be here. Well, I think we want it at an angle, yeah. Yeah, and to throw it. Are we going to put both lights up here? 
And Oak will do two. I'm trying to just figure it out. Two might, two might diffuse our shadows more and make this kind of thing not worth it. I don't know. Let's have a look. I at think it. the best that would be to hang it like from far, the far, like one of the pipes way up on the ceiling, and see what happens when it shines down. Good. Good. And let's let's try this first without me breaking my neck. You can see nothing. Oh, yeah. Now on your face, there you sort of see it. You can see cool it. It's gonna be way higher. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, we'll do it. well, whatever's gonna be a more pinpoint like light source. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's true. Uh, it does look like it's about the same. Mike, come bring that over here for a second. Yeah. That one I think might be stronger. I see this. I, it appears less to me. Yeah, see, I don't it think it's what? I don't think it's as bright a bulb. That that looks like less to me. Okay. Gone, Although no, go that side. Yeah, there we go. You go over there oh. with your blue. You go over there real quick. Yeah, you're wearing darker color. Let's have a look. I think it's actually less. Yeah, I still think it's less. It's not gonna pop. It's not gonna pop yeah. the same way. That's cool. Well, we have two of yours. We can go boom and boom, and then have it on both of these things. Yeah. I'm betting it's a little too much. But I just lost the bet. It's true. Okay. I've got this slur here. Take me around a little bit. Okay. Okay. Let's watch. Look at The point is that it's really out there. And out there it's probably about 85, 90 degrees still. And it wasn't like this about 15 minutes ago. Hi, guy. There's a guy. I was just out in it. It's no fun. Thanks a lot. And here is our lousy hotel room. Hi. It's uh, night two. As you can see behind me, Ryan or Michael. It's not Ryan, that's Michael. Huh? Michael is moving a thing. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to him. Um, I'm going to turn this up. Here's Brandon over there. Uh, it's night two. We accidentally set off the security system, which was bad times. But um, we've got that straightened out. And we're going to be doing some shooting soon. Right, Michael? Hopefully. Hopefully. Let's see what Brandon has to say. Rah! See? He's a fun guy. And look, here's Ryan. Say hi, Ryan. Hi, Ryan. See, Ryan. So we, we, we accidentally set off the security system. It was, we did not mean to do it. Yes. Um, yeah, we, we were greeted by a nice beep, beep, beep. Hurt me here and here. Yeah. But we were going to be doing some very serious shooting here very soon. It's going to rack and um, rack. Rack focus, maybe a little. Yes, perhaps also a little rack. rack focus. And rock, though. Yeah. Um, and uh, maybe some rolling, if Ryan feels up to it. But um, I just want to say that it is uh, warm in here. I would go so far as to say balmy, and also the strong odor of tortillas. Uh, picture, imagine you at home, imagine a big face full of corn tortillas just putting your head in a bag of them and just breathing for what's going to be about a week mm -hmm. but also with a heater on you 
that's a good point. You're gonna wanna you're gonna wanna turn a space heater towards you as you have your head in the bag full of tortillas. And then you will get the Ryan versus Dortman 2 experience. Here we go. One, two, three. We'll try a couple of different things with the frame. One, two. Nice. Yep. That was close. One, two. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> That's the first one. That one was pretty good. That was good. That was good. That one. We'll keep bloopers. May a we'll keep a loop. It's it's really Ryan. I thought you were I thought you were like reviewing, like playing back and <laughs> What are you looking at over there? What's, what's if they're if I mean if they're at all interesting, the screw ups we can keep them, but for the most part we're probably just gonna wanna blow them off. <laughs> Look at how many takes we have. <laughs> mm. Oh boy. That's footage that we filmed. Uh, Ryan is very happy about that. Yeah. We, so we were just discussing like uh, we we filmed a, we filmed a bunch of takes of these inserts to start off, and uh, we can we can delete the ones the wonder of P two we can delete the ones we don't like immediately we don't have to store it we don't have to worry about the data, so basically any take that we really like or think we might use we keep and so for the shots of my shots mm, one take great that's the one one take that's the one and then on his we've got like two for this one and we got two for that yeah well on all his takes we keep one take because we know it's good the, my takes it's like this one's okay and this one's okay we'll see which one's better so i'm not sure what that says yeah, i'm not sure who that reflects better on <laughs> it's uh night three are we on our third night Night three? Uh, second night of shooting. Yeah. Second night of shooting. Here's Mike. And we're about to show Ruben what we cut last night. <laughs> He's really going to like it, I think. Mike thinks so too. We're very thrilled. Yeah. Well, y'all stayed here, gosh, what, like seven hours yesterday? Yeah. Oh, yeah. God, that's crazy. We're schedule every day if you want to. Time. Got a lot to do. Awesome, awesome. Okay. Yeah. Make sure your sound's off. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's all we got. <laughs> the whole night. Awesome. Oh man, play it again. I want to see it again. That is awesome. I love it. I love that. Is that with the dolly? A lot of these use that dolly, actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's been very useful for us. God. Yeah, we like what we got, so. So we're moving. You just gotta keep moving. Keep going. I see your factory and looks pretty good I, too. I know, man. I, I'm, I'm digging it. I'm digging it. No, I mean, I, I'm looking at the oven and I'm like, man, that's that's here. <laughs> cool. Yeah. yeah. Cool. 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 Okay. Yeah, 
I do kind of like what he's saying. Like just a quick like touch down. All right. And then get get the pass through. Okay, so when we do the one where we're not tapping, let's just each go our own separate way. Okay, let's break away separately that first. Okay. Rolling. One, two, three. Okay, closer. Rolling. One, two, three. Sorry. Rolling. One, two, three. Alright, let's get together and tap. Oh. Here we go. Rolling. One. Leaving himself wide open. Yeah. yeah, that drove me nuts. You jingle fit. Have to walk in on Mike taking a dump. <laughs> oh sh. Oh, oh sh. This isn't what I thought it was gonna be at all. Don't forget to wipe. <laughs> wipe the card. Yeah, yeah that's actually true. Card. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, we're. <laughs> need to what clear some space. Yeah. So I'm dumping the footage from the Panasonic P2 And then he's wiping it onto our card. laptop. And then wiping it off the card to save space. Dumping, wiping. A P2, yeah, they get the joke. It's, it's not funny anymore. Right, <laughs> he's taking a bowel movement. Yeah. <laughs> so the, the P2 card we have is four gigabytes that holds about 10 minutes of, uh, 10 minutes of recording. And that's actually pretty good. It sounds really harsh because when you're used to mini DV, you're used to like about an hour. A continuous recording but the nice thing about p2 is that you can immediately review the footage that you've got let me just import here you can immediately review the footage you've got and then if there's anything you don't like you can delete it um, unfortunately at this point we're going through stuff and each take that we get through there's something about it usually that we like that we could possibly use so uh, <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, we typically end up keeping all the takes we do, which means that the P2 card winds up filling up. Brian, what the hell happened to you? <laughs> well, we just did 14 takes of me spinning back into the lighter. Actually, do you have that take? I, I'm sure I can pull it up in a second. Should be one of the last ones. Or actually, the last one. So here's the take that we were just filming. <clears throat> This is the keeper shot. You'll see I go punk back into that ladder, spin around, look angry, and then continue backing up. It's a glide cam shot. We filmed 14 takes, and Travis here pointed out as I change shirts into this one so I don't get the, the one I'm wearing in the show sweaty. But I have uh, quite the marks happening here. Actually, they're totally have gone away. I've Have they? Almost completely. No, no those are some bad. vertebrae there. The vertebrae yeah. are bad. But, so. Ooh, gosh, you can barely really see that. Metal ladder. It's good times. Oh, thanks. Battle scars. Anyway, right. that's that's all you're going to see. For the rest, you have to pay admission to my website. Okay. Wow. I'm going to photograph Ryan being cool. 
right now. Here we go. Let's get there. Where he stands. Okay. I like to ride this little park. Keeps the breeze moving back and forth. You could actually go. I could do the little thing, the RBD thing again. I'm not sure this is a good place for it. I can just. It's nice and wide, and if we if we've got a shot, if we've got a shot from over here, that, that's very for both of us, in fact. Because I come down, we both kind of do this vertical circle. I'm wondering if I can, if I should like step or something.
double checking. Make sure I wasn't going to delete any good shit. Gotta keep cool. You're not wiping the whole thing, are you? No. Here we go. Rolling. One, two, three. schedule here and I was just saying that I think we should re reprioritize our schedule here so that it's it's a crappy reality but we might not be able to film all the sets that we want here because we're doing this wall set and everything's just taking it's taking longer and the fighting set where we need hand -to -hand sabers, fighting set hand to hand fighting is 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 gonna be some of the most complicated stuff so I was saying that perhaps we should, we haven't shot set one yet, we should maybe do that tomorrow, get started on it, practice it a couple times, run through it, and try to get that. And if if we if we screw up and on hour two we're not getting it, we can say, okay, let's bail on this, let's go do something else, let's work on the end, let's work on a transition to it, something like that, something else that we can get through that we need. If we get set one and we finish, same thing, it's good, we're done, we did that. Um, but we should basically save the fighting set for last because that's that's the one thing that it, that's that we might not be able to finish and if we can get everything else done we'll still have a complete project that will make sense with the beginning and an end and we'll have to film some sort of bridge for the middle yeah um i, I think it's possible we could go straight from the pipe chop 
create the bridge mm -hmm. and then go to the end. Just by just move right back into the middle. Move, but yeah, move out into the middle instead of off to the side. Right from the pipe chop. Where is the pipe chop? It's right after the wall. This we we. Yeah, after the wall stuff, we have it. We have a bridge, so we uh, we there's that pipe that's really close to the wall, and we. The the end the ending of the wall set we had this little part where fight over his leg and he flips over and he comes over and he backs up against that pipe and I chop it and then he rolls away I chop it again and then blast the piece at him and we have this. I think we might we might consider omitting the pipe chop. Mm -hmm. um, number one, it's going to be effects heavy. It would be cool, but it's going to be effects heavy. Number one, number two, then we have to deal with that thing should have a hole in it every time we see it from then on. Yeah. I don't like it, but I mean, we gotta we gotta be able to have a full project. Yeah. <clears throat> so exactly. So yeah, I think uh, I think that might be the way to go. One, two, three. I don't like the feel. It's just low. Yeah, I uh, I can do it faster. Okay. Okay. But we also Maybe want to I'm make sure that we see the hand, like, we're looking at the hand as it Yeah, I want back. to see this shit get stolen. Maybe I'm up and I go like We this. might have to break it down into two cuts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you, you're up and then a smash and then the up face. Up. And then a close up of it. Yeah. So let me sit low and look up and you go, Wah! and then what we just did, smash yeah. the face. Step farther back. Okay, here's a different idea. What if we have you here and we shoot this from behind this? So we look past him at me coming up at it and doing that. You know what? Yeah, let's do that. And then for the actual smash, we should get my reaction and we should get it like past my hand. So we see boom in the foreground. Okay. Up. Up. And then, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, so here we go. One, two, three. <laughs> I like me. I'm funny. <laughs> <laughs> It's like I painted my hand. It's on my hand uh, now. It will peel okay, up. There we go. Paint. Should we repaint this maybe? I don't know. Whoa! <laughs> it looks, it looks like, like a, a blur is applied. Is it useful? <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Is it useful after the uh, after the after the jump part? Yeah, because we can use it. <coughs> Are we going to use it, or is there a better one? Wait, no, this is the one we want to use. <coughs> oh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's Well, 
It's Thursday night. We have two nights left. No, we have tonight and tomorrow. Right, tonight and tomorrow left. And uh, we're pretty behind. Uh, we've Essentially that means there's no way we could finish everything we were hoping to do. We've got a lot of shots that took much longer than we thought they would. And more shots, more ideas that are probably going to take equally as long. So, at this point, um, uh -oh. Uh -oh. at this point, we've had to make a bunch of cuts to our planned choreography, our planned sequence. Um, we've already trimmed it down a good bit, and there's a strong chance that we may end up cutting an entire sequence just to be able to finish. Right. So we're basically trying to figure out how to cut our losses and at least have an ending of some sort attached to this thing. So we're going to film the end now. The, we have a final set of choreography and then the, the end of the movie. And then from there, see how much time we have left. And then sort of work back toward the middle and, and try to fill in these gaps that we're deliberately leaving to make sure we get the stuff that we need to get first. So tonight, hopefully, we'll get the end. So we'll be able to have pretty much a, a complete movie, and then tomorrow we'll go back and get anything else we can. But we can't set up yet. We were hoping to set up early today, but we can't yet because the workers are still here. Specifically for one shot, right? Well, we had we had more like falling and flipping and stuff like that, but we don't have time to get it. So now we're going to end up using it for one shot. And I'm not even sure we were originally going to use it for this shot, but it's the only reason for this mattress so that your lightsaber won't fall on the ground. At this point, yeah, because the light because. dropping I've already done this is supposed to this whole thing is supposed to be black it's all right here all right this is all banged up and then right and then on this end this it's supposed to be like this right all the way around and then we got this crap right here this is yeah and it's sad because this is a good design I like yeah I will have to make me another one because I like this one but I The problem with carbon fiber, as you can see, is because it's going this way against the grain, I guess, the pressure is coming this way and eventually they just tear right open. So this one was starting to tear, so we just preemptively put in another one and now I'm going to put that in the lightsaber. Genius, actually. I would also like to point out that um, 
Oh god, you see these uh see how munch this is. This tape thing, this their their tape idea is is rather perfect. I spray painted my lightsaber tubes uh and the, it just chips all over the place. You really can't do it. I guess you wanna I guess they wanna shoot some movie now or something. I should probably get up. Anyway, the tape thing, if you're gonna make a lightsaber movie, go with the tape, not the spray paint. Not only does it chip, but in your trunk, when you put your blades in your trunk, they everything in your trunk turns green and orange and pink. And it really doesn't work. This tape thing, they've got it all figured out. So you watching this documentary, you have it easy because you get to just be told. But I had to do it the hard way. And I had to get everything covered in spray paint chips and actually spend a bunch of money on spray paint, which is expensive, actually. You may be wondering what this is. I actually, uh, you know, Robert Rodriguez says you can either uh, solve problems creatively or point the money hose at it. And so instead of going and actually buying a bandana, I tore off pieces of my pants and then you uh, you can wrap it around. Luckily, I buy uh, very big pajama pants to sleep in because I, for some reason, have little care for my own personal appearance and apparently my own hygiene because uh, I'm not sure if these were clean before I took scissors to them and uh, wrapped it around my head to catch the sweat. That's the point. You're holding a camera, your your body is in this curious pose and Ryan and Mike are, you know, they're, you're getting the shot, they're dependent on you and it goes into your eyes and into your corners of your mouth and you just you want to scream and freak out and drop the six thousand dollar camera which you can't do so i tore off pieces of my pants and wore them and really i'm only explaining this to you because it's going to end up in this uh in this documentary and i i should probably explain because otherwise it probably looks like a cravat or a or some sort of some sort of strange you know I can't remember what a dicky is. Is a dicky the thing you wear on your neck? Or? Yeah. yeah, okay, yeah, okay. So like some sort of strange scarf. Like I look like I'm you know, from some like European area where they do something like this, but I don't. It's just, if you don't have any money, rip your clothes apart and put it around your head to catch the sweat. You got Mike editing in the background. It's on the right side. Pick the, uh, you could take? Yeah. Yeah, if you cut it in? Yeah. Oh, let me see. Let me cut it in. Ha! Sweet. Ha! Ah. Okay. So what's going on, guys? We are getting, just double checking our last few shots. Here. So we shot yesterday in a big rush. Uh, today is the last day. Push. Last night of filming. Last push. And uh, we have checked out of our hotel and got all of our crap here. And we are going to shoot on through the night. And if people don't start showing up possibly into the morning, we, um, we've got to still go from... We did end up... We, we cut out the fist fighting part. We had a whole set which was going to be us brawling with each other over uh, getting our sabers. Instead, we, we totally cut this down to just... Uh, I stomp his hand, he, uh, he loses his saber, we fight over mine for a little bit, and then I lose mine. And instead of having a fight where we're trying to get past each other to the sabers, we just look at each other and made sort of a comedy moment of it, and then just ran, and then just book for our own sabers. I think, so, I think that's going to be one of the favorite moments of the film, honestly. I think it's going to be like the... the uh, how Indiana Jones just pulls his gun and shoots the guy because they couldn't film the fight scene. That's what this is gonna be. It's gonna people are gonna love it. Right. It's it's it'll work. It'll be okay. But um, we still have to go from basically our endpoints down there around the big machine and then work our way back into the big main area where we had the first set. And that uh, from that point forward, the final fighting we have filmed. Then what we haven't filmed is two things. The first is the ending after the point where he gets his arm cut off and uh, everything else that happens there, which is a lot of inserts and close-ups and acting. And also a bunch of reshoots that we want to get, or inserts, which we have a list, a prioritized list of little stars, of uh, mostly a lot of sabers that are like hitting walls and then starting to move from the force, things like that. Um, and we also have some, uh, I guess uh, other parts of the fighting that we'd like to go, we'd like to 
and get better or improve. We've got some, we've got a, a shot where it stalls just a little too long. We'd like to get it quicker and we had something in the background which you shouldn't really be able to see and other stuff like that. So it's, it's quite a lot to get through, but uh, we're gonna make the big push and hopefully we can get it all finished and have a complete coherent finished product by this morning so that we can fly away in the afternoon back to California. they're doing because uh, they've taped off his arm he gets his arm chopped off in this thing and I, I, I'm just saying I hope they know what they're doing because I have never you know we've got to do this thing where you know you point that you have to hold the camera still we're not doing like we might do some of this handheld but we've got to like hold in the same spot and get plates with the light reference looking around so that it looks <coughs> so that it looks the same and so my fingers are crossed I believe in these guys, smart guys, but oh man, to take a whole arm off, I don't get it.
That was the best. going to be kind of spooky seeing a severed arm like that with the saber coming out never been done before as far as I know no let's just say it hasn't it's never it has never been done before ever ever I think I came like around here Maybe looking up, as, so we can get a view coming. 
coming towards me and then pow. Put okay, try this. On the other side of it, or I could cheat to the right, and you can do with this past your head this way, and go past it. So it's, it's not, if it's in front of me, it's trouble. That's what I'm saying. Behind me, behind, me, away from the camera. This side. Oh, this side. Uh, uh, down here. Down. You know, okay, look. okay. Let's try the camera here closer to Dutch. Maybe. Because then we won't see the sh coming out the back end. I think that might accentuate how sort of bad I am at doing this. Um, I think this angle will really work if we okay. can. I'm going to do it. Okay, good. Alright, now we can punch in. See if you can frame it. Yeah, That's that's gonna be one mo one bad motherfucker of a shot if we can pull it off. Have right, you seen my arm? Okay. That was good, guys. Wait, keep going. Let me get out of there. And let me take a look at that. What do you think? I thought it was cool. Did you move it? We got the plate. We got the plate. Okay. I'm like, no. <laughs> Did you move it? Ah. We've only got about an hour, hour and a half to go. Theoretically, the workers were, are going to potentially come in in about an hour. That's when they usually do. It's really depressing. But we don't know for sure. It's weekend. They might it's come the later. weekend, so they might not. They might come later, or they might not come at all. We don't know. So we might have till five. We might till have till like the sun comes up. We're not sure. So anyway, we got lots of trust to do. We got some inserts on me. We had the final him kick me off and me blowing up somehow, and we have another insert back there. Uh, a wide shot to do, or we're going to destroy one of these sabers practically. Oh, and close-ups on my feet, and this thing of glasses we want to do. Anyway, we need to go. Makes me sad that it's almost over. But we do have to get going. Travis, yeah. no. hook your head out. What? Hook your head out real quick. No. <laughs> Just real quick for the camera. <laughs> okay, you want to try one? Yeah. I'm going to have a cake. Okay. Ready? One, two, three. How was that? Uh, yeah. So do you think we got it with that one?
Hold them up next to each other. There we go. <laughs> All right. Not bad. We did it overall. No yeah. one will know. No, no one will def definitely no one will know. Okay. Ready? So just to bring you up to speed, we've entered this insane lightning round. Workers have showed up on Saturday morning during our last four shots, and now we're hauling ass to get it finished. And I am bringing a battery so that we can do this crazy flying dagger shot. The last four shots in the movie were done with people walking around working, as you can see. I am in fact rolling. Okay, so not only not only did we have like an emergency 11th hour hustle because these dudes started showing up, but like that freaked the hell out of me. Because we don't get another chance at this. We don't get to fly back out here in a week. They don't. I'm not gonna drive another 11 hours. Come back out here and pick up the shot of Ryan getting sawed in half. And so we literally, as you saw on the video, had to shoot that with a bunch of people standing around watching us and you have to find a way to frame that without homeboys. Now, luckily, Ryan and Mike are masters of comping things out, which I don't know what the hell that means, but the fact is that uh, apparently if the camera is still, you can erase people from shots, which is like magic powers to me, but um, my fingers are crossed. I'm gonna change clothes and have a big bowl of cereal. No, the, the, the hand is okay. I'm talking about the same, because I have to find something, like one of my reaction shots to bridge from this to the next shot. Because right now it's coming at me. Pommel first, emitter first. Mm, it turns. It's all good. I don't know. I, I I'll see if I can get a reaction of like. As long as you can show something else between it, I think yeah. you won't. It won't feel bizarre. I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm looking for a reaction right now that I can use. You might want to try one of of me looking down because I'm. It's, it's that same thing about how I, you know, do I notice this? You know, am I hearing the saber come by? Mm -hmm. Am I turning my head to look at it? You know, we see me looking, we, uh, it, it establishes that I'm not aware that it's, that it's going, so it might be something to looking try. Looking at me? I'm looking at you, but I'm not, I'm not noticing the saber. Hmm. First take, I told you it'd be first take. Yeah. Huh? What's going on right now? Okay, so we spent all night shooting. Um, it was our, it's our last night in Atlanta, and uh, the the workers got here at 5 a.m. When it ended, or it's it's 9 a.m. right now, um, so we we had to bust ass and finish to to try and get the entire film shot on time. So now we're we're cutting what we shot last night. We're cutting everything together um, to leave here with a rough cut of the film. And while we're still in this building. If there are any shots that we still we discover we still need to get, we can go out there while they're on their lunch break, or just point the camera and wait till no one's in the background or something, and just just find find a shot um, that we need. And uh, so so that's what we're looking for right now is is if there's any shots we need to get, or if we manage to get them in our in our crazy mad dash. Yeah, you ended up lining it up like perfectly. With smoke and stuff, that was so cool. We're done. Okay. We shot the movie. How are we gonna watch it? Those came out good. Yes! Oh, I'm a good move. Man, that looks good. Nice. I like his facial expression. <laughs> Mine or his? Yours. <laughs> oh, nice. Whoa. Nice. Ouch. <laughs> yeah. That's the reaction we want. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> nice. 
Christ. Oh, that's awesome. No way. Yeah, that'll be me, like, splitting in half. <laughs> and this is the stuff we were shooting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we can take them out. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh god, that was awesome. <laughs> Some dude walked in the back. I told him to leave it in. Leave it in. I'm gonna cry. Wait, go back. Go back. Well, I have you get oh my god. <laughs> so, aside from Mr. Background Man, <laughs> what are your uh, Holy impressions? Holy cow, man. I mean, just the whole choreography and the, the timing. Mm -hmm. That's... How long is it? Six and a half minutes. So it's about a minute and a half longer than the last one. Yeah. And actually, this doesn't include credits. Right? Yeah, without credits. and that, Okay, those... probably a good two minutes longer. Yeah. Than the what was really cool was when y'all kind of reset back here. Mm -hmm. You know how you all, you know how like you, you don't leave, you leave them wanting more and then you're like, cool, there's more. Yeah. So that, so you get that. A lot of big build up, a lot of. Uh -huh. Oh, man, that turned out really, really yeah, good. Yeah, I'm really happy with it. Yeah, I'm really proud. Really well I'll done. Everything. Yeah. Nicely done. I can't wait to show it. Show it. Yeah, I, I, I'd love to see the reactions to the, everyone who works here when they oh, see it. It's yeah. like, <laughs> especially after watching us walk around. These, just being like, I what had, are they doing? I, I had a, a couple people that I showed them to, and they were like... Oh, the first one? Yeah, they were like, because I told them that you guys were here, and yeah. they were like, man, are, are they paying you for this? And I'm like, no, no they, they're just doing this, you know? Yep. But they're they're like, wow. mouth wide open, and they're like, man. about digital technology is we've actually got an almost complete edit with the exception of the reshoots that we shot this morning we can look at the whole thing we've got it all we can see it every shot every edit and we can reshot what we needed to reshoot including stuff today we actually we shot into the morning the people were showing up and everything we we went inside we worked on the edit and we all crashed out started falling asleep took that break at about 3 p.m. Our flight is out of here at 7 out of uh, the uh, Atlanta airport here. We we got back out, the workers had gone. They were only here in the morning. We looked around, we said, okay, we can work around the light, we can not show the skylights, and we can we can pick up a few of these, these reshoots that we'd like to do, the stuff that we rushed last night and we're not really that pleased with. So we got back out there, we shot some, I think they're gonna be pretty good shots. We can't tell until we cut it in, you know, tonight or tomorrow when we get back to LA. But it's feeling really good. So uh, I think that was the one point that if we didn't get to reshoot that stuff, I would have been disappointed. I think Mike would have been disappointed because they're definitely the weakest part of the film and we got to reshoot it. So I think it's going to be pretty strong. And uh, we did it. We actually finished this thing and shot all the stuff we wanted to shoot, more or less. And uh, we've got an almost completed edit in there that we can, we can look at and watch and say, wow, it's really cool. We showed it to Ruben. Seem to really love it, and uh, I think we finished. We're about ready to go here. What do you think of it? So having watched it, well, I think it is probably the project I am most proud of. Even just not just you know as I'm in it or I help make it. It's just being a part of it. It's just it came out way better than I thought it was going to. There was a lot of a lot of unknowns as we came into this because we didn't know a lot about the location. We didn't know how the lighting was going to work. We didn't know we didn't know how you were going to work, Travis. We, we we met for the first time on this project, and if like one of us were like assholes, this could have like sucked a lot. But it, it everything we we gelled very quickly. We started getting really good shots and everything just moved forward really smoothly and I think I mean almost every shot that we did came out cooler than I imagined it in my head which is just 
it's bizarre because I watch it and it's like I didn't I wasn't there it's like who made this thing I wasn't I wasn't a part of this so it's it's really fun especially just then you see all of those cool shots back to back in a huge sequence in, in a complete film and it's like wow we made this awesome so I'm very pleased with it and now the uh, the wonderful uh, labor of love begins with all the visual effects of which there are many in this film and lots of things that we really aren't sure if they're gonna work or if we can really do them but one way or another it will get done and we will get it out before too long and then it will be really really sweet I'm very very happy and proud of what we did I mean we had um, when we talked about doing RVD 2 a lot of people um, a lot of people were like why do a second one like why go back and why not do something else you know and uh, it, it actually did worry me because I'm like God are we gonna do the same thing and just be I mean you know it wouldn't have been bad if we'd done the same thing but it would have kind of been a okay we've already done this but um, RVD 2 is so much further along than RBD was um, and um, it accomplished everything we wanted to in the sense of um, or everything I wanted it to at least in the sense of looking comparing the two and seeing how far we've come in the last two three years almost four four years uh, since we shot the first one so um, I'm it, yeah this was completely worth it for me and it was it's a, it was a lot of fun and it's a really I'm, I'm very excited about how it turned out. I honestly didn't expect it to turn out you nearly know, as well as it has. So, um, yeah, very excited. And I'd probably say more, but I'm really tired because I stayed up all night, like every night for a week. So, um, yeah, it was a lot of fun. And I'm really, really looking forward to getting home with this cut and putting the effects in and seeing what it looks like. I will think of three things when I think of RBD2, and I will think of it. Uh, tortillas, and grabbing them right hot off the assembly line. Assembly? They assemble the tortillas, right? The conveyor belt. In a way, they assemble them, strangely. Um, and uh, and uh, sweat, tons and tons and buckets and buckets of sweat, and how incredible this all turned out getting to you know I've been making short films since I was pretty much like 10 years old and uh, this has been the most challenging shoot I've ever been on and the most rewarding we've we've got phenomenal stuff the guys are freaking out uh, and that's that's the only thing that you can really hope for is that they something like what Mike said where they expected it to be one thing and it's better than what they expected. And I've had a blast. I'm humbled and privileged to have gotten to be here and be a part of this. And Ryan and Mike are just awesome. And we've had a great time. And you know, they know me, but they don't they don't know me. They let me really they ah, I'm gonna break things. They let me really close to their baby. And uh and they got they got Moxie for doing it. And uh, you know, Ryan and I know each other. He worked on my film and we're doing another one, but uh but you know, to have me come out and and shoot this and to be able to trust me has been it's been really I'm really privileged and uh, it turned out so well and the effects are gonna look like a million dollars and it's gonna rock nuts and people are gonna flip and that's all there is to it and we'll see you in LA and we'll be doing another one and uh, and uh, it's been great I've had a great time and uh, I'm gonna go home and sleep for like a month and then uh, finish my movie which you should just watch <laughs> plug all right, I'm done. <laughs>